What is up guys, Express Design here, and I'm back with another poster. This time I made a poster for the new Batman movie. I'm hyped for it. I know the previous video on how I made a poster didn't go so well, only 100 views and like 11 likes, but still, I like to make posters, so I'll, I'll make videos on them. This time I'll try a different style than the other one. I'll, I'll try to make it even better than the other one, and I hope you enjoyed these kind of videos, because I'm telling you there are more on the way. Let me begin. So the first thing I did is cut out the Batman, or Robert Pattinson in this particular Batman movie. Uh, with, with this I used the pen tool to detach him for the background and I can put him everywhere I want. Now for the background I wanted the red moon that gives light on the Batman here. Like you know Batman only goes around at night and I wanted to have a red moon beautiful in the back. Then I cleaned his face with the clone stamp to remove all the dirty spots because he the, the, the picture I got is a bit dirty. After that I tried to get the right color from him so I did different things until I liked it. I tried level, brightness and contrast until I thought maybe a gradient is the best idea. Because the gradient was the perfect idea. After that I wanted some nice clouds in the background to fill the space behind him. For that I used my cloud brush, you can find it in my brush video, link is in the description. So now we're at that part where I add some effects, lightning, flash, particles, to give the poster a more Batman feeling. With that all done, I wanted the logo. I, want, I wanted the logo and the post credits on the poster. For the uh, credits, for the poster credits, I downloaded the movie font. It's yeah, I, I'll put that in the description. Um, I looked up all the things for the movie, like director, writer, uh, and more, and I put that on there. And I also put it on a nice spot to make it look professional. Then it was time for the camera roll filter, for the color and more effects. To really make the banner pop, really make the poster pop. Made a change to the levels and the contrast to make it a bit darker, and then make the red more red by hue and saturation. After that, I go to the gallery filter to make it look like it's been drawn. Then I put a black and white gradient on it to maybe look how that looks and compared to the red one. I think the black and white really gives that more Batman feeling, but I like the red uh, red style with this new Batman. So I really like this outcome, this has not taken me a long time, this is only an hour, this is a quick poster in my opinion. Maybe I could have fleshed out more, some more details with the moon, but I really like the outcome. If you guys like enjoyed this more than the previous one, let me know, this is a, a faster one. And it's not as long as the other one, and it's only me talking, and I, th I think I like this, this style more, me just talking and you guys seeing what, what I'm doing and more explaining it. It's not really a tutorial, I think. I like to make tutorials, but I really want to see what else can I do than tutorial, speed art tutorial. I want to flesh out some more ideas. Uh, I'll probably make a, a album cover or something like this, or a gaming poster, or more like uh, how I edit my photos in Lightroom and such things. So. For the next tutorial, it's gonna be an anime header because you guys smashed those with views and likes. And I, and it's been a month, and I told you guys every month there will be a new anime tutorial. So I have something planned. So thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and as always, do more if you want.